Mortgage rates are still very high. Um, inflation, I know you said it's coming down, but credit card rates, defaults, things like part of it, because you have people staying and so existing home sales, to your point, not so great because everybody has great mortgages. They're not going to try and um, move to go anywhere. Tell me about what you see happening because I was asking during our break that some people seem to be facing like high insurance costs if they're going down south in Texas, Florida. What do you see happening here? Well, there's definitely high insurance costs and in fact, many times no insurance, right? So some people are saying, well, I can't get insurance. So they have to self-insure it. That's a scary. Still lives on to a certain extent. And when we talk about about these home builders, one of the reasons they're doing so well is because they're building more homes. Do you expect that people are going to be asking Jenny for a lot of the new homes because they have to find land to build on, but because the existing homes are less available, I mean, how much inventory is there available versus the right. new homes? Is right. that selling better? Right. It's going to have to be the new homes because See next year. Well, you know, it's an election year. Decrease in rates, we think the home buyers will jump, jump in. Step in. Mm -hmm. Now, we just need people to have jobs and feel confident. Right, that's the biggest point. I mean, point. are you worried about the economy? Worried about jobs. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And that's part of it. Um, some of the hot areas still, Jenny? Florida. Yeah. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Mm -hmm. Florida, for sure. Sorry, I said Jenny. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. We're no, related. No. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Florida, uh, <laughs> Naples, Miami. So it's that, that sort and of it's thing. It's true. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like that. And yeah. you look beautiful all the time. <laughs> um, you know, when I, when I saw recent um, housing about sales and stuff, and I don't remember which one it was, but it was that the Northeast was still holding on and the rest of the country wasn't doing particularly well. I mean, I think a lot of our viewers are also in the New York area. Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you say? But New York, New York is a big area. area. Area, right, yeah. so if Manhattan isn't doing perfectly, Queens is doing well, Brooklyn's doing well, you know. And you know, if you were to tell Powell anything, mm -hmm. uh, what would you tell him? He's up, babe. You know, <laughs> like yeah, about yeah, exactly, than, exactly, yes. exactly. The question is whether or not uh, they cut rates in the first half or the back half mm -hmm. of the year. Middle, right? middle, and that's sort right of, before the election. Right, probably. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, there are bets that it could happen you know, in the first quarter or the second quarter, but you would like to see that. How is it, um, one more thought, I mean, when we had sort of those small regional banks and that crisis that occurred last March, mm -hmm. you were talking about some of the ones that you were using for mortgages. Mm -hmm. How have you found it to be for people trying to get a mortgage? It's still really hard. You don't want to have another housing right. crisis, So there's right? a, there's a, there has to be a good balance, obviously. We don't want people not able to get a mortgage today, but they might lose their job in January right. if they don't have enough for the rainy day. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's, a, it's an interesting time for sure. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So 2024, mm -hmm. you ready? Mm -hmm. We're ready We're for ready. 2024. We actually think it's going to be good because a 